Hello everyone and welcome back to Generation Unfiltered. Today I have with me my amazing and gorgeous co-host. I am Okwaifa Nikki. And yes, today we'll be talking about unconditional love. Wait, 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 before we go to the topic, we have to introduce our wonderful guests with us. We have Mr. Imagination. Can we meet you? I just corrected somebody on the last episode. Don't Sorry. <laughs> Imagination. Don't pull me start to it. Imagination right. is a nickname. Elisa Mebiniza is a real name. Hmm, amazing. <laughs> and we have... <laughs> Hi, guys. My name is Aditala Benson. All right. The topic... So today we'll be talking about unconditional love. Is it achievable? Hmm. So, sweetheart, you look really beautiful, by the way. Thank you, you too. What do you think about unconditional love? Do you think it's really achievable? Yes, I think unconditional love can be achieved in the sense that it's just all about balancing it, balancing how the person is and balancing how you perceive the person as. Like, we, we should learn to accept people for their flaws. We should learn to understand why that is kind of a person. You really cannot impose how you feel on someone because you cannot relate with the person. Let's 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 learn to accept that this these people are this way. Like that's just how they are. So I feel like unconditional love can be achievable. Imagination, would you like to share your view, please? Mm. Mm. <laughs> is it is it unconditional love? Or what did you just call it? Unconditional See, love. Unconditional love. Is it this modern day generation? I don't think there's unconditional love or anything. So on a scale of one to Wait, the only unconditional love I know is the way my God in heaven Jesus. loves me <laughs> so much. And that's the only unconditional love. Then my mother. Uh, the love between a mother and a child is unconditional. Like you can't treat that for anything. Like it's unconditional. And the love of God to me, to a human being. That's that's but you see human to human. Hmm. I'll call it it is not unconditional, it is transactional. Uh, Give no. and take. Yeah, it is yes. transactional. No. It no. is a transactional kind of love. Now, the only way you can, I'm not saying it cannot exist, but it's scarce. Like, yes. it's, it's like it's a 99.9%. Like, mm. now, it is, the reason why I say it is transactional, if you want to test unconditional love between humans, now, test, you can test it between a well-to-do human and a less-to-do human. That's where you so, know if someone really loves you unconditionally. Sorry for cutting you off. So yeah. do you think it doesn't exist that way? I mean, the transaction share. Like, if you are having, if you have a relationship with someone today, yeah. do you think a woman can stay with you when you don't have it all? <laughs> Understanding your uh, friend. <laughs> mm. So, yes, if we're facing reality... See, <laughs> If yeah, you want yeah, to love see, someone you unconditionally, many, people tag it now as understanding girlfriend. girlfriend. See, everything gets married. It. Mm. See, even love, that thing called love, it has expiring date. You know, goes. Huh? I they feel play. like Aditola does not agree. <laughs> Let's hear from I don't agree. Okay. I don't mm-hmm. agree. And I feel like I'm a living example. Hmm. Okay, so I used to be with this person. I wouldn't say we're in a relationship. And I'm not trying to be vain now, but I know that. I was way above this person. But then I dealt with his stuff for I dealt with whatever the attitude was for 10 months. Wow. Um, 10 months. And yes, like you said, it's it's as expiry dates, but trust me, this guy pushed me to the limits. Hmm. So I could not just take it. So I feel like there can still be a way that we could still manage these things. We can still find our way around it we can still understand ourselves in certain way i feel like see every i feel like the base of a relationship or a, or a friendship is understanding you can be I, I don't know what example to give now but just imagine the worst kind of friendship you can have with someone or the worst kind of relationship you can have with someone like opposite side if if they understand each other to the to the highest level things would definitely work out but you know that mm-hmm. these things that always factor I, I actually don't agree that unconditional, unconditional love, sorry, is achievable. So we'll get right into it after the short break. Thank you. My name is Anta Ladinho. Have you heard the news? 
ICTV. When it comes to media related matters, celebrity matters, watch ICTV on all social media at official ICTV. You will enjoy yourself. Introducing Night Sport Studios, your one-stop destination for all things music production, podcasting, and live band recording. At Night Sport Studios, we're passionate about turning your creative dreams into reality. Step into our state-of-the-art facility where the magic happens. Our team of experienced music producers are dedicated to helping you craft your perfect sound. From tracking to mixing, we've got you covered. Podcasting is on the rise, and we're here to support your voice. Our soundproof podcast studios are equipped with top-notch equipment, ensuring your message is crystal clear. Welcome back to Generation Unfiltered. Thank you for staying with us. So, Adetola, what do you be like? Do you believe in love? Ah, yes. Yes. So, what's one experience that has really, 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 really made you go crazy about love? My present partner, person I'm with now. He Interesting. <laughs> oh my God, oh, I shouldn't yeah. be doing this. Shed I said. Please. <laughs> He has made me to believe in love in so many ways. Wow. <laughs> oh my God, this was great, uh -uh. man. <laughs> you must really be lucky to have her. We see she's smiling on set. God, I Because, um, ah, it's genuine. Hmm. Like, you would, you would, you would just know that this is this person. I don't know how to explain it, but you would know that this is this person. And it has made me feel that way in numerous times like i just can't explain like every day every day every day i'm like so do, do you oh, understand there's like there's just always a reason i'm like you just amaze me every day we amaze like ah. is so well, this love Mama. will touch everybody oh. Mama, <laughs> camera come oh, camera us. come imagination camera come my mind they tell me say she goes to chop breakfast like <laughs> you know, no, no, don't worry no, no. don't worry yeah, okay. all of you are here all of you are here everything is looking mushy 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 because mushy. i did not come in my ring don't worry <laughs> hey, okay. sorry you have promised mm. me already what's your worst experience with love because i think you have a lot to say about love What's your, experience? what's your worst experience okay. with love? Uh, <laughs> yes, in breakfast, breakfast. Uh, love yes. is good. Mm -hmm. Love is good. Mm -hmm. In fact, for it, I'm married. Wow. wow. Yeah, love is sweet. Wicked. Yeah, I'm wow. married. Love is sweet. In fact, very sweet. But you know, before I got married, ah, I saw Shege Pro Max. Hmm. You know when, <laughs> you know, as 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 a, uh, you know when a girl breaks up with you a day before April first. It's a confused something. Yeah, absolutely. You know, a, a day before I prefer, so you'll be wondering, like, is she serious? Is ah, she not serious? I'll be like, ah, I've been hey, a prayerful. I've been a prayerful. I'm, like, I'm ah, you still wait, you go and sleep and wake up. I'll be like, eh, what you said earlier, are you really, are you, for are real? you serious? I'll be, uh, I'm serious, you, it's not a prayerful. But let me tell you, unconditional love. I'm not saying it's not real, but nowadays what we have is transactional, transactional love. Because you can't what people they love you for what you want to offer, what you have to offer, not the real love. Test test the the unconditional, so-called unconditional love with somebody who has been with a friend who has nothing, they, they you know, grew up together, they have nothing, and suddenly one of them just blow up and becomes the the talk of the town with uh, become a billionaire and all that and the other one is still on that same spot you can test unconditional love between two of them absolutely yeah you can test it if it's unconditional love the other person will find every means to leave that other person that is unconditional because at that point he has a lot to offer the other person has nothing, nothing. to offer then you can test if what exists between them is unconditional love then if it's really unconditional love the other person will find every means to bring this person up but if it's not see transactional love he has nothing to offer our guy i don't get new guys i don't get That's new crazy. clique 
imagination. Okay. <laughs> what if the person feature no bright? Which person feature? The other person, of <laughs> course. The other person feature yes, no bright. Now. <laughs> okay, now, see, let me tell you something. Even if the other person's feature is not bright, at least, let me give a, okay, let's say my own feature is bright. Okay, I'm the one that, I'm the one that has the billions. And this person's feature is not bright. See, no matter how unbright your feature is, it can over it can over dim my own light. Hmm. And no matter the money I give you, it doesn't mean I'll be broke. Do oh. you understand? Now, your your feature is not bright, doesn't mean I can't make people feel like we're on the same level. Yeah. Are you getting it? I now, you. your feature is not bright, my own feature is bright, and I put you on the same level with me. Like everybody around you, they don't they never see that uh, this guy doesn't have money. Mm-hmm. Sure you get. They see like, oh, we're on the same level. I go clubbing. I take you along. I, I credit your account. I'm a, bi- fuck, I'm a fucking billionaire. I can credit your account with, fi- with 10 million. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Like, yes. that's unconditional. Like, you don't have anything to offer, but we've been together and I love you so much regardless. Like, because be we've back. been we've way back. So, whether our future is bright or not, your future is not bright doesn't mean I cannot make your future bright. I can't forget, I can make your future bright by force. Brighter. With the billions so, I have. Okay, okay. <laughs> Not if, okay. if I may ask, what are the most, like, the common misconceptions about this unconditional love? Let's ask Adifella. Misconceptions. Mm-hmm. Like, what people think. Like, the mix of, like, what people think. Yes, let's say something like that. They think it's transactional. <clears throat> okay, yes, it is. I would say, okay, the percentage of, um, of relationships being transactional now in our generation is really on the high side. Mm-hmm. There is still unconditional love, imagination. Let, let's not lie to ourselves. I want to ask you one question. Hey. I want to ask you one question. Like that you don't go party. You don't go. You don't go. Like, have you, know, you gone to a party and you see a rich man spray, spraying a poor man? I mean, like, have you seen a rich man throwing bills at a poor man? Yes, now. No. Uh-uh. So the money that spring is see I no I wait kind of like a poor a poor man like poor poor man like you are there, you're not, you're not, I'm not in the same level with you have you seen a rich okay. man throw bills at it they throw bills to their fellow rich men because they know that when they are doing their own stuff they are going okay, to get so back. Okay, so let's leave the now. angle of rich men and let's talk about love we, like between that's what I'm, I'm a male like, and yeah, a female yeah. can, relationship because, wise because let's, relationship let's wise. be for real there are still some love. girls there are still some guys that will still be with their partner no matter how tough things get. But okay, um, it's scarce. So yeah, of, yes, out of that's it. I'll give it a ninety-nine point nine percent. Please, hey, ah. now, my yes. girls, please. Ah. What are you people doing? <laughs> it is Gen Z I beg. Mm-hmm. Ah. So ah. Aditola, what are you going to tell us about? Like, what's the worst thing a guy has done to you when it comes to relationship aside from cheating? What's one thing that you know that a guy would do to you that like, would make you want to leave the guy? Or aside from cheating and maybe money, let's remove money away. If you are not emotionally unavailable, hmm. if you are not there for me, if you can't have a conversation, if you cannot, because I'm attracted to people that can talk well. If can we cannot we hold a conversation, conversation, I'm sorry, we cannot talk. We can't be together. You have to be able to be on my level of emotion to be able to say some some certain things you need to be able to think like let's let's be on the same level like understand me i understand mm-hmm. do you get yeah. understand me i understand you if you're not ah i'm sorry first of all if you cannot go the conversation don't even come and meet me don't talk hmm. to me please Thank you. what about you hmm? what about you <laughs> <laughs> well maybe you should refresh maybe you should repeat the question please <laughs> well, aside from cheating Okay. What other thing can make you not want to be with a girl? Red flags. Aside from cheating and money and all that. What other thing? Uh. <laughs> See. Or do you think you have any red flags? Eh? Let's no. Exactly. Okay. Because everything a guy thinks, when a guy has a relationship no, I, I, with money, I, 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 no, no, no. It's I, you know, See, yeah. my number, number one thing, my number one, um, you know, thing that keeps me off a lady is when you are insensitive. Yeah. Where well, you're insensitive, mm-hmm. you're not intelligent. Like you're, mm-hmm. you're insensitive, like hundred percent insensitive. Like you, you don't okay. have, don't like you don't yeah. zero, like you don't. That's my number one. Like mm-hmm. I just have to. Is this girl no? Is like, she okay? Like she in the bedroom. She's this is this this. You are doing this at this. Like insensitivity is my number one thing that that keeps me off a lady. Like and one of the things, other things that makes me okay. My number one turn on is intelligence. Like once you're intelligent. 
that are smart. Mm. Then being outspoken. Like mm. nobody feel, I'm not saying that you should use that against me, but number one, like once you can I, I can say this and you can you can say give your own opinion about it. Like mm. I will not tell you something I say, okay, it's fine. Mm-hmm. It's okay. You get so let's hold that thought for now and we'll be taking a short break and we'll be right back. Stay tuned. I am a Gen Z. Of course I speak Gen Z. Of course I dress Gen Z. And of course I look Gen Z. I'm a Gen Z. Of course, I can advocate for myself any and everywhere. And you should too. I'm a Gen Z buddy. Of course, I'm confident and I am a content creator. And that's on period. I'm Gen Z. Of course, I'm logical, innovative, and I respect only those who respect themselves. You should too. I'm a Gen Z. Of course, I watch Generation Unfiltered. You should too. I'm Gen Z. Of course, my lips are always glossy. Period. I'm Gen Z. Of course, I'm bold, beautiful, and brilliant. Beauty with brains, period. I'm Gen Z. Of course, I'm always going to up on every trend, just like this. Per. I'm Gen Z. I know they agree for anybody. Welcome back to Generation Unfiltered, and yes, we're still on our amazing topic, unconditional love. So, Aditola, mm. what do you think about sex? Is sex very important to you in your relationship with someone? <sighs> deep breath, deep breath. <laughs> Let's have it. Okay. Is sex important to me in a relationship? Yeah. As of now, no, it's not. Sex is not important? Yes, because... As much as I want to be a Gen Z or as much as I'm a Gen Z person, I'm still a religious person. Mm. And my religion permits that no sex until marriage. I love that. So that's that for me. Right now, it's not important. Mr. Imagination. Sorry. Imagination. <laughs> eh? What do you think about that? Is sex important to you? Okay, you're married. So sex is very important to you. But before marriage, eh? is sex important to you in ah. your relationship? <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> let me put it like this let me put it like this yeah um for a solid relationship now let me be fact as much as i love sex sex is not the foundation for a solid relationship yeah absolutely yeah it's not the foundation for a solid relationship it is the fact that you both can talk you can converse long enough without even thinking about sex and you can actually flow but for a long period of time without thinking about sex that's a solid relationship but you see sex i've not said that part but you see sex okay. but you see sex is very important um, it's very important okay can i can i can i say something about that honestly i feel sex is very important yeah and i'm not saying i don't believe in sex before marriage i mean no aware. sex before marriage. no sex before, before marriage, marriage. I'm not saying I don't believe in that. That is very, can very ask, true. Can I ask you something? I'm good. Okay. <laughs> I, don't know, I want to say something. I want to ask you something. Let me say something. <laughs> Let me say wait, something. Wait, wait. Let me say this okay, one. Say, Let uh, us mm-hmm. say, women are always right. Okay. So, guys, there, I have a friend that had, like, she was getting married, and she was always telling me that, Nikke, I don't want to have sex until I'm married. And this particular friend of mine is not a virgin. Mm-hmm. Mm. But because of the heartbreak she has been going through, she said, Nikki, no, no, no. I don't want to wanna, stay I want, I want, No, that man, if he does not propose to me, they feel, okay, sex is very important mm-hmm. uh, to a man. And if he doesn't propose to me, no sex. Mm-hmm. Okay, first of all, this guy proposed to you. And she's like, okay, Nikki, you know what? I'm not going to have sex with this guy until we are married for mm-hmm. real. Engagement can just be... And Camouflage. the next thing, fast forward, she got married. And honestly... You guys are saying sex is not that important. Sex is not like sex is very important. And the guy got the guy 
they got married and at the end of the day to cut the long story short this thing where they call kinney was not kinney oh the kinney was not kinney and it was a very big headache for her because guess what before marriage you can talk about it you can you can try to ask questions you can but in marriage you already feel like this thing is you that you have tasted other things you're not mm-hmm. a virgin so you already know how a kini should be oh God. and the kini is not kini <laughs> what do you think that is that was really crazy for her the marriage didn't work out the marriage lasted for only two months wow guys two months i am not serious? kidding you uh-uh. it, it lasted for two months so when a kini is not kini <laughs> there's a big problem huh? and this kind of issues and this kind of situations are situations that before marriage you can talk about it you can you can try to exercise it the exercise a guy can do for a skinny to skinny but wait to still on this issue what about a see, see okay see, sorry sorry but uh, what you are saying after you please what you are saying mm-hmm. now when the kidney is not kidney mm-hmm. the, the question i have to ask is did she go um did she look for solutions to it that we are unconditional love and tabby so that's the thing now we are unconditional love and tabby see i think it's a i don't talk i'm there i think it's because of the kidney she broke up after that no they had definitely no you see guys you see when your man have already seen i don't know how to put it to you guys but really i don't feel like it was not only that but there were the other, other things. factors it became a jealous person you already see that you, you already saw that oh this girl she has probably seen different dicks mm-hmm. before oh and okay God. yeah this is not going to be you know so it wasn't working it wasn't like the marriage wasn't just working at a point she, my f- my dear friend she, because she likes us saying the story to people so that people can learn from her mm-hmm. this my dear friend almost got it got to a stage in our marriage whereby she almost stabbed the guy like because they were going through one issue or the other and at the end of the day you're not enjoying this thing and you're not you're not ready to see a therapist the guy is not ready to see a therapist he's not ready to exercise he's not ready to listen you really some guys are very themselves. proud and they have That's egos crazy. so he's not ready to listen he's not ready to and she can't literally share that, those kind of information to her family or friends it took her years before she was it took her months because i was very close to her it took her months before she was able to tell me this your friend's love for that guy wasn't genuine because at that point in her life she needed to just get married. Thank you. But let me say you something. Let me she tell you something. To just get married. Thank you. For the first time I will agree with you. <laughs> for the first time I will agree with you because that's where oh unconditional love enters. <laughs> As she saw that the kidney is not kidney, she be she will go for um this thing and at least for She wanted to just I know. Know. I, 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 like I I I think I I stated that. Know them, so it was not just about the kidney kidney. Yes, okay. there were yeah. other factors. There were other factors. The guy the was jealous. I, I said it now, jealousy but, and a lot of but red me, flags. Oh, I have advice for girls and boys. And sorry, ladies and gentlemen out there. Mm-hmm. See, uh, in marriage. I'm not. The Bible say uh, sex before marriage, marriage. is not good. As she has, uh, mm-hmm. yeah. she's Mary has said, she has said it's not good. But at the same time, let there be conversations. Like yes, ask yes. the guy, ask the guy blunt like ask him, have you? You've definitely would have had sex before. Ah. Do you think you are good enough? He says yes. Okay, fine. Okay, whether you are good enough or you are not good enough, the Bible says we should not do this thing before marriage. Okay, let us prepare you for the match ahead. <laughs> there is no preparation. There is no. No, match. wait. No, no, no. Let me tell you. Let us. If you don't want to do it, if you if you don't <laughs> want to do, it, I'm advising you. You're not married yet, so I'm advising you. <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. Your, no, no, I'm telling you. I don't and want. You, oh, I don't see, want. See, okay. Most of us. I don't see, want. Let I don't me tell want. you. It's a big advice. Now, uh, this is a, whether you don't want to hear or you want to. Yeah, I will say it. Oh, yeah. See, the advice is. Yeah, listen to him. The advice is whether you don't want to do it before marriage. Fine, it's biblical. Yeah, I agree with you. I'm not. I'm not disputing that fact. Now. Tell your guy, ask him. I'm a melo tiche. Melo tiche. Did they enjoy the tiche? What bad doing? Yeah. Then if he says yes, okay, I don't want to believe. Just tell him, okay, I don't want to believe oh my that. God. Let me just believe you, smile. But at the same time, let me still prepare you. Let us. Let me take you. Let's go to um a haba. Let's do haba. Go prepare you for the match ahead. Because when I get married, I don't want to hear story. Tell him like before. Absolutely. I don't want to hear story. Okay, because now I'm not doing it. Doesn't mean I don't like this thing under. See, because I'm not doing it before my doesn't mean I don't Any like it. So like it this. has to hit the spot when we get married. Ah. Like if I'm not enjoying this thing now, I have to <laughs> enjoy it when it we far. get married. <laughs> no, I have to take it far because it's serious. See, let me tell you. Tell him that you should go, go for a medical checkup, go for treatment, so that by the time you'll be playing the match. 
you don't want the ball out of the bar. Mm-hmm. You want it in the net. Are you getting it? So She's for those, it that, for those it. that for those that <laughs> believe so for those that believe in sex before marriage, okay. test your property before you go for, for the you property. Guys. Now for the for the, for those that believe in now for those for your own set of people, I've given you the proper advice. Then for this <laughs> set of people, test it before you go for the match. Thank you very much. Okay, so my next question is still on this whole thing we've said. So what about if the other partner is imposing about no sex before marriage? How do you think it's going to affect the dynamics of this relationship? Now, if he says if if the lady is saying no sex yes. before marriage, mm-hmm. now if the other guy, if the guy is saying there must be sex before marriage, there must be sex before marriage, it's two things. It's either he has is 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 into the relationship because of the sex. You get mm-hmm. But you know that unconditional love is is love like See, it's no strings you love, attached. Yeah, if you love somebody truly unconditionally, Absolutely. you would think the last thing you would think of is sex. Exactly. Yeah. Now, that's, that's, so that's you believe the in unconditional love. Uh-huh. No, 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 no. I believe in it. It's not that like I'm not believing it. I believe in it, but it's just that it <laughs> is scarce. It, it is scarce. See, so, see, it is scarce. So it's scarce. So it is two minutes you are talking to a guy, and the next thing the guy invites you to his house. If it's truly unconditional love. Calm if down now. Unconditional love. See, sex should be the last thing. You should be particular about the the your your partner's your partner's life. Mm-hmm. Yes. The That's other person should be particular about your life. Exactly. Like it should be both like like your body is my body, my body is your, your body. body. Like every mm-hmm. of your problem is my problem, my problem is your problem. That's how unconditional love is. The la- sex should be the last thing you should think about. That's just it. Right. So guys, Laura Kosha. <laughs> We have come to the end of this very, very, very interesting topic. And um, thank you, Mr. Sorry, Imagination, for joining us on this amazing episode. And thank also, you, okay. Adetoa. We really appreciate you. Thank and you. I really enjoyed this episode with my host. <laughs> thank and you for being here. <laughs> <laughs> so, shout out to Glam by um, Sheung for looking. Uh, Jesus. Thank you to Glam by Show. We really, really, really love our look. We look flawless. Thank you so much. I look and thank you to Night Floor Clinical Clinical. Uh, I'll take that one. Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. And thank you to Night Sports um, Studio for giving us this great ambience and amazing audio game. So, shout out to the amazing team behind the scene. Shout out to Victor. Shout out to Imagine it. Oh. <laughs> Until next time, guys, we'll keep the flow coming out. Bye.